Hello, this is Pastor Stephen Kurtz from Central Presbyterian Church. I'd like to begin with a scripture from the book of Amos, Amos chapter 5, verse 24. But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever rolling stream. I'm here today to talk about the subject of businesses. Black owned businesses, just like nearly all businesses have suffered during this COVID-19 epidemic because of the loss of business. But even more so because the black community has suffered so disproportionately from the virus. Now, during this time of national outrage and protest over the senseless killing of George Floyd, which has become a symbol not of only his own death, but of the people of color who have so disproportionately borne the brunt of brutality in this country for so many years. And this is a time of lament. So we offer prayer, a prayer of lament for such a time of this. I invite you to join me in prayer. Let us pray. God of justice, we cry out against the kind of endemic systemic racism that makes black owned a special category as if there were two levels of legitimacy for people doing business in America. We grieve with those business owners, black and non-black, whose businesses have suffered damage in the protests. We lament over a society that has collectively bottled up the anger that people feel at being victimized for so long. How long, O oh Lord? We cry out against calls for domination instead of dialogue. We pray for leaders who will search for restitution rather than retribution, who build bridges rather than fences, who seek deep understanding rather than a veneer of pacified order. We lift up all the business owners who work with such integrity and d diligence to run good businesses earn a decent living, feed their families, educate their children, and by doing so, enrich our communities. Hasten the day, we pray, when justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. O Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So we begin with lament, but we need to move on beyond mere lament to focused action. So I would like to close with an affirmation that is also a call to action from the Iona community of Scotland. We believe that God is present in the darkness before the dawn, in the waiting and uncertainty where fear and courage join hands, conflict and caring link arms, and the sun rises over barbed wire. We believe in a with us God who sits down in our midst to share our humanity. We affirm a faith that takes us beyond the safe place into action, into vulnerability, and in the streets. We commit ourselves to work for change, and we put ourselves on the line to bear responsibility, take risks, live powerfully, and face humiliation to stand with those on the edge and to choose to live and to be used by the Spirit for God's new community of hope.